more to me than anything in this whole world. Did you ever wonder about Tinkerbell's backstory? Where did the fairy come from? How did she get that outfit? We'll dish out all the details, including her secret sister. Keep watching to the end to discover the little-known story of how Tink and Peter Pan first met. The 1953 Disney movie Peter Pan doesn't give us any information about where Tinkerbell came from or how she met the boy who wouldn't grow up. But more than 50 years later, Tink got her own series of films and we learned a whole lot more about her. Welcome to Pixie Hollow. However, the question of her friendship with Peter remained unanswered for many fans. What in the world was that? Tinkerbell. But we've discovered all the secret details about how the two first laid eyes on each other. It was pretty dramatic. Stay tuned for that reveal. But first of all, let's learn about Tinkerbell's origins. The narrator of the 2008 movie Tinkerbell explains how fairies come into being. She says, The first time that a baby laughs, a fairy's life takes flight. We're shown how the laugh travels on white dandelion fluff all the way to Pixie Hollow in Neverland. It's just past the second star to the right, in case you didn't know. So that's fairies in general, but what about Tinkerbell specifically? We think that Tink was born of a baby's laugh in London, England. Another fairy was also born on that baby's laugh. Keep watching to learn more about that. Tink's dandelion fluff lands in Pixie Hollow, and Terence, the dust keeper, pours pixie dust over her. That's when she she transforms into the fairy we know and love. Hello? Well, not quite. Her hair is loose around her shoulders, and she's wearing a white dandelion fluff dress. She gets her signature style a little later. The Queen of Pixie Hollow, Queen Clarion, welcomes Tink with the words, Born of laughter, clothed in cheer. Happiness has brought you here. After Queen Clarion teaches the new arrival how to fly, Tink has had to find her talent. What are these things? They will help you find your talent. Will she be a garden talents fairy, water talents fairy, wind talents fairy, light talents fairy, or animal talents fairy? She passes by symbols of each talent, and they wither away from her. Tink passes right by the hammer, but it glows and follows her. As she touches it, it sparkles brightly to show that she is a tinker fairy. Come forward, Tinker Fairies. So her talent is to make and mend things. Tink puts her newfound talent to use straight away. When she moves into her new home, there's a closet full of leaf outfits waiting for her, but she's so small that they all swamp her. So the resourceful fairy sets about cutting them to size, creating her iconic green leaf mini dress. She also scoops up her hair to keep it out of her eyes and creates her signature bun and bangs. So pretty. We mentioned earlier that Tink has a secret sister. If this is news to you, then you're probably imagining another fairy in a green leaf dress with a cute updo, but you'd be wrong. In the 2012 movie Tinkerbell, Secret of the Wings, we discover a big secret about Tinkerbell's past. She has a sister, but her sis looks a little different, with an ice white pixie crop for her hairdo and a light blue pantsuit for her outfit. Tink finds out about her long lost sis. We're sisters. When she visits the winter woods, Tink's a warm season fairy, so she isn't allowed to go into the cold part of Pixie Hollow because it would destroy her delicate wings. However, when she stands on the border, her wings sparkle in the most magical way. Determined to learn the truth behind the sparkle, they actually lit up. Tink stows away to the winter woods to speak with Dewey, the keeper of fairy knowledge. That's when she discovers another fairy, Periwinkle, who has the exact same wings. In Pixie Hollow, wings are like fingerprints. Everyone's are different, or nearly everyone's, that is. Your wings. When those matching wings are close, they sparkle. Periwinkle is a frost talent fairy who has been living in the winter woods all this time, without Tink realizing. Dewey shows them the moment that they came into being on the same laugh and how their dandelion Lion Fluff got separated on the journey to Pixie Hollow. Neither one of them knew that the other existed. It's a totally magical moment when the girls are reunited. <laughs> The rest of the movie goes on to explore how their bond threatens the whole of Pixie Hollow and how their bond then saves all of fairy kind. It worked, Tinkerbell! If that sounds dramatic, just wait until you hear about Tinkerbell and Peter Pan's introduction to each other. We discover how Tink and Peter first met in the first ever Disney Fairies chapter book. Published in 2006, the book is called The Trouble with Tink. In the story, Tinkerbell loses her hammer, which means she starts to lose her talent as a Tinker Fairy. So she decides to visit Peter to find 
blinded. We discover that she's distanced herself from him after he brought Wendy back to Neverland. When the two reunite, they reminisce about the moment they first laid eyes on each other. Peter was trying to steal a shark's tooth. He was on a small boat, trying to knock the shark out cold with his oar. However, the shark was bigger than he expected, and it bit Peter's raft in half. He didn't know how to fly yet, so Tinkerbell came to his rescue. She taught him how to fly with a sprinkling of fairy dust and saved Peter from the shark. Talk about an action-packed introduction. Over there, Tink. So that's a wrap on the truth about Tinkerbell's backstory and how she met Peter Pan. Do you wish Tink and Peter stayed together forever? Let us know in the comments. And remember, we all need a little faith, trust, and pixie dust in our lives. Make sure to subscribe to The Things, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.